So today is tire day. Um, I've decided to do these myself. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm replacing the uh, Coopers with uh, these Kumos uh, Road Venture AT52s. Uh, they, these have very good reviews. Um, I decided primarily to do this myself, right, uh, as a project. Uh, in the big scheme of things, when I added the same tire to uh, Discount Tire's website, the out-the-door price was a little over $600 more than what the Amazon price was, including tax. So, I've never really been super, super happy with the way these Coopers have ridden. Uh, whether it's uh, uh, improper balancing or whatever the case may be. Uh, if you look at this one wheel, um, the amount of weight they have on the back is just ridiculous, right? There's a steel weight there plus stick-on weights. I'm going to take all those off. And I've had very good luck in uh, larger tires. Uh, whether it's the 22.5s on my motorhome or all-terrain tires running balancing beads. So the balancing beads are rated in ounces per the size of the tire according to Counteract. Uh, with these uh, 285 60R20s that my Ram takes, 10 ounces per wheel is good. Inside the bag is a, is a very thin bag full of balancing beads you just toss in the tire uh, they open up as you drive um, it also uh, comes with new uh, filtered uh, valve cores uh, and <clears throat> excuse me and new caps uh, so the biggest challenge with these is just going to be the the weight right um, I've mounted uh, the 22.5 uh, motorhome tires. Uh, they're actually, believe it or not, easier than this because you're doing it on the ground and you're mounting them on the back of the rim forward. Uh, so we'll we'll see how this goes. Um, at a savings of uh, over $600, uh, figure it'll probably take me about four hours worth of work. So. Again, the biggest thing is going to be lifting that tire onto that tire machine. So, got the handy dandy uh, back brace out, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll come back. Okay, so I got the first one off. Uh, this is all the weight I pulled off. Uh, they look like quarter inch weights. Why discount tire mounted them this way? I have no idea. Uh, these Kumo tires are non-directional. Um, this little yellow line here is just a manufacturing mark. Uh, some say that it's uh, to ensure that the correct uh, casing is matched up to the correct tread. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, a note on the Harbor Freight uh, tire machine. First of all, my duck bill that I built, some call it a duck head, worked perfectly. Um, no scratches on the wheel that uh, were not there already as far as I know. I did use one of these to go over the wheel lip. Uh, that may have helped prevent damage from the bar. Uh, Many say that the weakness of the Harbor Freight tire machine is the actual bead breaker that they split apart. So I was going to take my welder and uh, weld some reinforcement bars on that. And I actually just, just forgot. Um, that, they did not bend at all. Uh, surprisingly um, 
what did bend was this actual bar as you can see so I may make something a little heavier um, I was thinking uh, maybe grabbing something that is uh, solid steel uh, but all in all not too bad uh, including figuring this out because I'd only done uh, two other tires on it before and that was a while ago uh, process start to finish took me about 35 minutes on the first tire uh, not too bad um, to save uh, 600 plus dollars I think it was 630 I will gladly uh, do this labor another way to look at it is is it's not necessarily labor it's also good exercise so um, I don't get much of that I ordered this uh, weight removal hammer off of uh, Amazon uh, it helped there was one uh, large weight on the back of this as well as all of the little quarter inch weights that I peeled off the inside of the wheel uh, unbelievable so let me put this on uh, and I'll come back uh, lubrication is your friend so uh, I'll get it lubed up well and uh, get it on I'll come back so I'm ready to put the beads in this is what the uh, counteract beads look like this is 10 ounces of beads so basically, this is a very thin plastic bag. You throw it into the tire during the mounting process. As the tire rotates, uh, the beads uh, uh, come out of this uh, very thin plastic bag. And my understanding is the plastic bag just disintegrates. And uh, I uh, replaced a motorhome tire that was balanced with counteract beads and uh, when I pulled the tire off the rim there was no sign that this uh, plastic bag was ever in there so this is the uh, duck bill installed getting ready to uh, mount the tire back on uh, these little plastic clamps are very nice you put that in the low part of the uh, tire as you mount it on and this will keep this bead down here and what they call the drop center of the wheel which if you struggle uh, mounting these tires that's going to be your problem so two of those little plastic clamps they won't mar your wheels they're 20 bucks spend the $20 uh, you can also see here that I have the large uh, centering cone to keep the wheel perfectly centered so as the duck bill goes around so when you take the uh, tire off you're taking your tire iron and you're going up over the duck bill uh, I believe what's going to work is putting it on it rides underneath the back of this duck head and uh, should go on so I'm going to spray some first I'm going to put the bags in the balancing bead bag in it'll go right in here uh, almost forgot that and then I'm going to get this on uh, I'll come back if there's anything else interesting to, interesting to uh, talk about see you soon Well, the first one is done. Um, I put uh, 60 PSI. Uh, that's typically what I run on this truck because I don't haul with it. If I had uh, 3,000 pounds of payload in the bed, then I would probably run the maximum or the recommended pressure of 80. 
uh, but it's it's just too rough at 80. So typically, like I said, I run 60 psi, and that's where we're at. I'll leave a link to uh, my tire gauge, my Astro tire gauge, on uh, in the uh, description. So there's an old saying in the Navy, see one, do one, teach one, right? So I did the first one. Now if I just had three friends to teach, uh, I'd be done in no time. Uh, not a bad job. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, the only thing I can say is uh, use uh, soapy water. Mounting the tire onto the rim, um, I never really pulled much on this bar. Um, I just uh, ran it through my uh, duck head device that I built over there and just kind of bumped it around with my hip. Well, the four tires are mounted and balanced. Here's the uh, old uh, Cooper Discoverer uh, AT3s. Uh, these are uh, 285 60 R20s on my uh, 2018 Ram 2500 diesel. Just got back from uh, a drive. These are balanced very well. The balancing beads uh, seem to work very well in these larger AT tires. Couple uh, tips that makes this job easy. Uh, one, again, get a back brace, use it. This uh, contraption here is great for raising the tire up and these spin, so to line it up. Uh, from breaking the tires down, there's no damage at all to the Harbor Freight Jack. Uh, the centering cone works very well. That's the large cone. Uh, again, the duck head makes it work very similar to a commercial car machine. Uh, had no scratches with the exception of one small one on my wheel. And that's where this slip down so I had this magnet laying around this is a Harbor Freight magnet this works very well to hold that thing up out of the way so that it's not uh, falling down as you're repositioning the uh, wheel so if you have any questions leave them in the comments uh, the money that, that you save uh, by doing this job yourself makes it worth the effort. Here's about two and a half hours. Hmm. Well, that didn't work. Uh, so, highly recommend the balancing beads from Counteract. Uh, these will just uh, go to the local dump. So I'm not paying any environmental impact fees or disposal fees. I saved uh, uh, $95 a tire on the same Kumo from Discount Tire. I added four into the cart uh, and it was $1,800. With tax on Amazon, I'm in these for about $1,100. So I'll take that uh, savings any day of the week and they were free delivery as well. Hope this helps. Uh, at the last minute, I did decide to take the jack off the pallet, and I'm glad I did. 
with these uh, larger tires. And I did drop-in anchors. So what I'll do is, is I'll move this thing out of the way when I'm when I'm done, and uh, put it on a shelf, and just put little rubber plugs into the uh, anchors so that they won't have any dirt or debris in them uh, the next time I go to bolt this thing down. So anyway, hope this helps. Uh, this is not a difficult job. Uh, I'm 60, not in the greatest of shape. I don't spend a lot of time at the gym. So this was my uh, gym workout for the day. Uh, no issues at all. Just uh, use leverage. Uh, you'll be able to lift uh, those wheels with those 20 inch tires onto this with, with no issue. So hope this helps. I'll see you soon.